Hello people from the station, John here. Please like the video. If you don't like it, dislike the video. You can go to the comments. If you're new, please subscribe to the channel. You can go to the comments. I usually interact with every single one of you if you guys comment. I want to talk about Jonathan David. First of all, a player who I really like. He's already playing for the Canadian national team together with jo um, not Jonathan David. Uh, Alfonso Davies is plays for Bayern Munich as a left back right now. He's doing, of course, really, really good at Bayern Munich. He had 12 games and he scored 11 goals, which is really good for someone in his age. Of course, Canada does not play against the best, best teams. Uh, he also plays in the league in Belgium. He plays for Club Gent. Uh, they're second in their league. They're doing pretty decent because the teams that dominate there are usually... Uh you have Underledge, you have Club de Bruges, you have Standard Liège, a team that we played in the Europa League this season. Jet is doing pretty well actually and they're second in the league. Club Bruges is first. Uh, if I'm not wrong, Jet has 55 points in the league while Club Bruges has 70 points so it looks like they're dominating. He's very quick, he's very fast. He's, a, he's not the tallest guy, he's 5'10 if I'm not wrong, but he's a very strong player, his shot is pretty good. Uh, he has the long shots, he can shoot from close as well. He's a very versatile player, he can play on the left wing, he can play as a center attacking mid, he can play as a second striker, and he can play as a striker, which is something that I think is pretty good, because uh, I, I think we need versatile players. For example, if uh, Saka, if we don't get a left winger, if Saka and Martinelli play there, uh, maybe one of them get injured and then, I don't know, maybe Aubameyang stays out for a while then Martinelli has to move up to striker and then uh, you can move Jonathan David there or if, for example Kieran Tierney gets injured then Saka moves down to left back again uh, Martinelli is the only option at left wing so he could get injured as well if he does you can go and put jonathan david there for a while and of course jonathan david can also play uh center attacking me which is something i would like him play because i think that honestly i'm not the biggest fan of mr ozu here a lot of you guys are a lot of you guys aren't i don't want to make this discussion with any of you guys because i don't want it to make it toxic i don't want that for my channel but yes people i think it would be good i think he's a dynamic player he's gonna get adapted to the high tempo of the premier league he has everything in my opinion he's fast he's quick on the ball he's a strong player for his age he is kind of buffed kind of strong arsenal and manchester united are also talking to his agent nick Marromaros from the reports i saw but we are linked with a move to him not from today i think it's since like january or maybe last season with a 25 million euro move i would do this all day long in my opinion i like kokchu it's a player i like i don't think i've made a video on kokchu but i think that jonathan david in my opinion can be very very good for us although uh kokchu can also play as a number eight and although he can play as a number 10 as well but i think i still like jonathan david more i think we could get edward and jonathan david because jonathan david as i said is a more versatile player and edward can play as a nine if lacazette leaves for example you could put edward and obama and of course i'm not saying a formation with two strikers maybe of uh, Edouard on the bench because I'm not the biggest fan of two up front uh, but it's what I think people please let me know what you guys think in the comments below it's a short video today thank you so much Gunner Station thank you